Well, hello everyone. Um, the other day when I posted the uh, video about um, good scenery, or what my version of good scenery using the Auto 4 XP all-in-one button, uh, there were a couple of comments about the fact that it did look flat and that the Autogen trees weren't turned on. And uh, the way I understood it was that the all-in-one button just gave a simple ortho picture a photographic rendition that's mapped over a basic surface so i actually went back and did it properly this time and this is the results for the people that want to see what the trees look like poking out so it is different um, what you can notice is that the trees obviously give a good sensation of height but also there's some um, texturing to show the actual ground level so that when you get close down on a helicopter instead of it just being pixelated you'll actually see there's a sort of um, texture that really helps with uh, certainly on touchdown it gives you that height perspective a little bit better so here we are we're coming around if you have a look at this green bit on the left there's a texture on there that sort of helps you with the uh, feeling of what height you're going to be at um, but it is a trade-off I have to say when I run this type of scenery here I actually don't like the trees and the way they look it's one of the things they still haven't got right yet and very few programs do but certainly as a mix coming across over to where we're going to spin around in a minute and have a look down the valley um, it is possible to have the trees you can turn the auto gen on and you can have a higher quality mesh and it's every it's your own point of view as to what looks best that's the view down the mountain and for me it still looks great but it certainly i don't think compares to the shot uh, we see at the end when i uh, go back to the photo realistic scenery so if we stop it there you can see I had everything turned on. I didn't have HDR and maximum, but pretty high quality settings there. Um, so what I did, I turned the um, settings right down. And of course the trees disappear, but this um, general overlay, this texture remains. So you can have the best of both worlds here. We can see that there is a grassy texture that's been laid down. It does give us uh, some form of aid in trying to work out what height we're at. Uh, and the trees have gone. So this is a sort of halfway house between the photo scenery I was running and uh, autogen or overlay generated scenery laid over the top. And that texture there, some people will prefer that. I think I do even than just the pixelization of uh, the ortho scenery when it's just done as a photo. But there's the view down there. So I went back in, I took out the um, overlays folder and went back uh, just checking here, making sure I'm doing it properly. Um, took out the overlays folder and just left the photographic folder in there. So you can see at the bottom there, there's no overlays. It's just the uh, the tiles that we produced in the all-in-one button again. You have to boot the program up. Uh, went back in, number of world objects down to zero, other settings up quite high. And I wish somebody knew how to turn this sky blue on all the time. It really annoys me having to go into that menu and turn it on to get that nice blue sky. But here we are, this is the photographic or the photo scenery I was running before and the trees do look flat at this height because they're not 3D, they're a flat surface and it's just the shadows that are giving it um, the view of uh, a 3D perspective. But if you have a look there, I mean the detail in the creek there that isn't in the other scenery, I feel is much better. When we get up a little bit higher here, the sort of dirt textures are still pretty good until you get down to a certain height and then I think the other one where the uh, the mesh or the overlay has been done gives it a certain uh, 
I'm going to say nearly Orbix look. If you run Orbix scenery and look, come down very low, they've they've certainly got a grass pattern or a texture that makes you feel like you're near the ground. It's not a great big pixel. So going across the terrain here, this all looks pretty good. I think you know that's this height. It's um, it's better detailed, and for me personally, those trees, although they do look a little bit flat, um, they're not too bad. But I think the big thing is when we swing round and look down the valley, then it is actually a really nice view um, of the area. And as with many of these things, as long as you're high enough, it looks great. It's only when you come down too low that actually it doesn't work. So I think the view here for me, I prefer. It, it looks more realistic than um, the trees poking out. But everyone to their own, you do have the choice and obviously um, you can switch it on and off as you wish. But photorealistic scenery does look good, but it does need the height for it to work well. Helicopters, unfortunately, I wish we could have the best of both worlds. So anyway, just my view. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, just a quick look at different types of scenery.